How's it going YouTube? X9 here. Uh, uh, my name is actually Chris, but anyways, I'm going to show you guys how to make the uh, flat ribbon twisted canthal microcoil. I really don't know what to call it, but something I uh, came up with last night while uh, watching Rip Tripper's uh, twisted canthal video. I figure these uh, twisted canthal microcoils are becoming so popular. Why not try and make one that's flat? And I made a video showing how to make this wire. Um, basically, you just twist up some canthal, whatever gauge you'd like. Uh, I use 30 gauge. And then you just put it on a solid metal surface and you hammer it flat. See how well I can show you that's flat. I mean, you can see it. You can see it's really shiny there. And then uh, it's thin edge. I'm having to record this on my cell phone, so uh, the quality is not going to be the best. But you're really just going to wrap this like any other microcoil. I've done this quite a few times now, trying to shoot this video, and uh, something happened to the video each time. So this is my uh, uh, last attempt at this. But I'm just going to twist. I'm going to go for uh, I guess seven wraps here. And with this stuff, it's kind of staggered, so you want to be careful because it's going to try and overlap on itself. But it sure does look really cool whenever it comes out. Seven done there. Uh oh. Let's try and tighten that up a little bit. And you're not really gonna be able to see how cool that looks. But I promise you it looks really, really cool. Now because I've done this so many times, <clears throat> I I'm not gonna actually build it. You get the point to micro coil putting device. Make sure it's, it's it's glowing evenly, and uh, then run your cotton through it. Uh, the cotton's pretty hard to actually get through there. I can tell you that because the way that the hole is shaped, it's not shaped you know, round anymore. It's more like a an octagon of sorts. You know, it's staggered all through it, so it doesn't work out. But I've got the same coil on here because I've done this video so many times now. It's a twisted. Uh, twisted, flattened out canthal. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it very well. Yeah, I promise you that's what I've got in there. And the vapor production is... The vapor production isn't amazing, but it's still pretty good. This one's wrapped about uh, 0 0.9, 0 0.8, somewhere in there. But the flavor you get off this is way better than your regular twisted canthal. I don't really understand it. I guess it's the more surface area because this is uh, much, it's got, you know, quite a bit more surface area than regular canthal or even regular twisted canthal. But let's see if I can show you how well it vapes here. I mean that is it's nice. I mean the flavor's good. Um, the amount of vapor you get is good, and it's making uh, the sweet haze, which is like a hazelnut something uh, e-juice that I got here at my local store. It's making the the sweet part of it actually come out. I've always tasted the hazelnut, 
and it's always reminded me of like a Frosted Flakes or some sort of cereal, but it's finally sweet, and it's actually really good. I wasn't a huge fan of it at first, but man, it's delicious now. But, I mean, just do it for yourself. Uh, tell me your results in the comments down below, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.